Hi, everyone. I'm getting super excited about the Awakening Adventure 2, which is beginning on July 11th with my channeling session with Vagrian. Here is a clip of some of the channeling I did with Mike Dooley. And I love the content that comes through here. I love Mike's questions. So I thought I would share that. And remember, the course is six channels. It's over six weeks. And the link is in the description of this video. And I can't wait to see you there. Channel for you with Vagrian with Mike and to share this wonderful experience with another five amazing, amazing channels. Enjoy this clip. Wow, great stuff. So now, what of the version of enlightenment um, brings about a, a higher vibration? It's said that some who enlighten, they don't need to get old any longer and finally die and decay. They can raise their vibration. They can ascend out of here. They can come back. They can shape shift. They can teleport. Yes. All of those things, in which case, maybe I could skip the hunger that you said would be a requisite yes. if I could, you know, take my energy from the sun or yes. probably there's other ways as well. So what designates that level of awakening or enlightenment because i'd like to go all the way yes we have spoken on the fact that sleep and food and all of the assumptions that you have about being human are not necessary in that you are such creators of your reality that the consensus is that you have created with your other selves are not necessary. There are people who do not eat. There are people who do not sleep. There are people who do not breathe. Now, mm. this is not a signification of a higher state of enlightenment. Oh. These beings are in a state of what you could call enlightenment with a theme that they have chosen or that they have chosen pre-incarnation to show humanity what is possible to wake up others in their fashion. So the one who does not eat is not saying, hopefully, I am better than you because I am so enlightened and I do not need to eat. That would not be very aligned with the nature of all that is. What they are saying is, use me as an example of what is possible for you to fulfill your own dreams, goals, desires. Because if I can walk through this earth and not consume food and survive, then you can be the best parent you would like to be. You can be the successful entrepreneur you would like to be. You can be kind when someone cuts you off in traffic. <laughs> so there is no level of enlightenment. There is alignment with the energy of all that is, or there is not. And the bliss, joy, love sensation that arises in a being when they are in alignment, which can be synonymous for enlightenment in this discourse, is the byproduct of being in alignment with the nature of all that is. So when you are feeling joy, it is because you are closer to the truth and reality of existence and the way that if you were to use the word God or source or all that is sees you and sees existence is that all is accepted and all is the dancing joy of light in matter. Oh my goodness, that's so good. All of that is so wonderful. I hope you enjoyed that. I hope to see you on Tuesday at the Awakening Adventure 2. The link is in the description of this video. I really um, am super excited about this project and collaborating with these amazing people. And as always, I am so excited to bring you more videos very soon, so like and subscribe and hit the bell icon to be notified as soon as there's something new for you to watch. See you soon. Bye-bye.